Hey, this is David, and uh, I'm just not very good. Um, here's my tutorial uh, on sculpting. I'm, I'm not very good at sculpting, but, you know, watch me and learn not to do what I do. Uh, that's me uh, trying to make a head, and, you know, I was thinking about making an alien, because uh, aliens are easy, because nobody ex knows what you, is exactly is in your mind, so they don't know how far you, you miss the target uh, but you know later on I decide I'm gonna make it into a, a human being and and oh boy the foundation is just not there for me to work on uh, uh, thing I've discovered about sculpting is you really have to get in the major forms first oh my god the thing is ugly uh, yeah you wanna uh, get the major forms in first because uh, smoothing out is is no big deal later on um, uh, and you want to leave the detail work for later on, but if you don't have a, a good shapes to begin with, uh, then you're going to be like beating up your model and beating up yourself, and you're going to wreck all the good details that you might have put in there. And yeah, that's how I do a mouth right now. All right. Anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, driving a couple of weeks ago. It, it bothered me that I was, uh, you know, it was raining all week long. And it bugged me that the uh, the traffic got really bad. Now, I mean, superficially, everybody understands when it rains a lot, you know, everybody slows down. And so the traffic is bad and takes you a long time to get home, right? But give it some more thought. I mean, when you really think about it, um, you look at any stretch of road that you're on, especially in the commute, and uh, there's just more cars on that stretch of road and you think okay there's more cars here there aren't more people in my state just because it's raining right that would be crazy so theoretically there's other streets somewhere that empty out when it rains but that doesn't make sense either that's crazy uh, you know I thought about this an awful lot and you know it can't be that there are other roads that empty out um, and rain doesn't create cars, so I mean, it's, is it because the rain takes everybody longer to get to where they're going? So there's more cars on the road and less cars in driveways and parking lots. And oh Jesus, what am I doing with the mouth? Yeah, I mean, closed mouths are sometimes easier, but this is yeah, those are lips. All right. Well, anyway, so, um, yeah, there aren't more cars in the whole state. It, there's just fewer cars, say, in parking lots and driveways, and everybody is out there driving at the same time. I mean, that kind of sounds like there's people sitting at home saying, oh, oh, it's raining. I think I have to jump in my car and get out on the highway now. It, it just drives you mad when you think about it. Well, anyway... Uh, this sculpting program is called 3D Coat. It's uh, it's a really good sculpting program uh, that I'm trying to learn. I've been a 3D modeler for years, but sculpting is kind of a a, a different category of modeling. Jeez, that's an ugly thing. Um, and what you do is, well, obviously you do what I'm doing here, except you do it better. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there you can watch people who know how to do this stuff do it. Uh, but you're at least uh, if you watch you watch my videos you're gonna you're gonna see me getting better I I hope uh, yeah mouths are hard ears are easier you notice I haven't put any ears in yet I can say that they're easier but see ears kind of have some interesting shapes and they're not all exactly alike or enough alike you can kind of be you can be inventive with ears and still have them look like ears but uh, yeah I should have stayed with an alien those eyes are just huge and the jawlines all oh, here here I go with the ear now I I don't do a very good job this time but I, I assure you that if I take the time I can do it. Yeah. See, this part is hard where you, you have to leave 
a hollow behind the ears so you can get kind of that thin flesh look when you render it later on. And my earlobe is uh, out of control here. Uh, and the recording jumps, this was about, uh, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes of work, and then boom, here, here's the new file. So I put another uh, half hour or so into it, just to get rid of some of the major problems. You know, when I spend uh, three or four hours on a model, uh, I can get it looking pretty good, almost attractive. Uh, but it's funny, when I set the uh, recording to record the screen as I work, it kind of gives me this weird stage fright, even though I haven't really shown anybody what I'm doing yet. Well, we'll see if uh, let's see if I can get over my stage fright. It makes them for funny looking video, so. All right, uh, so yeah, face is very lumpy here, but that's normal. You know, you don't want to worry about that. You, you've seen the. You can go out there and look at the good people do this, and they um, some of them will actually paint muscles. On, on a bare skull and uh, and later on smooth things out so you know the beginning it looks anatomically correct but monstrous but uh, you know ha like I said having the right foundation is is, is the key when you're going to be sculpting uh, if, if you're interested in trying this sculpting I mean this program costs a few hundred dollars and, and ZBrush I don't know what's that 700 or so uh, ZBrush is probably the industry uh, standard, certainly the industry standard. Um, but there's something called Sculptress, and that's a free download, and you can screw around on even an average computer and see if you like this sort of thing, see how quickly you can learn. Hey, I like those creases on the lips, that's nice. Oh, looks like lipstick I'm putting on now, but I'm really selecting uh, parts of the mesh that I can work on without bothering the rest. Uh, yeah, and here I am trying to dig in some of the crease that goes above the eye. I'm, I, I don't have the right tactic on this. I'm developing something else right now, but um, uh, it, I'm kind of inventing things as I go. I can watch other people sculpt, but it's hard to follow their their style. I have to kind of work on my own, and uh, you know, getting the, the the shape of the brow ridge right is is just not working out for me here. Uh, this is good for a stylized look, I guess, once I get the lumps and bumps out, but, uh, you know, I want, I want something more anatomically correct. And here I'm, like, going really out of control, moving, moving, uh, geometry out, but, um, you know, you don't want to worry too much, especially in the beginning, you don't want to worry too much about rough edges and so on, because you can smooth out damn near anything. Uh, in fact, you got to be careful how much you smooth, you know, wipe out important things, good things, and flatten out skulls and so on. Now, uh, of course, you're not limited to heads when you want to try sculpting. You can, you can go with anything at all, but I like human heads because, you know, you can't really lie about it you know, when you're building a human head. Everybody knows what certain shapes are and whether it's an attractive head or not and and it's got all sorts of complex shapes and intersecting curves and so on so it's really good practice you know they say if you're if you're good at modeling a uh, a human head it gives you a big leg up on modeling anything else oh nice big bags under the eyes that's not bad uh, and it's possible in these programs to have a a reference picture behind and to the side and even above or below if you want so that you can uh, you can compare your work to uh, an image and that's a great way to work I haven't done it here and you can see the result uh, I think I'll try that next it's it's tough to keep the background images from overpowering what you're working on and really kinda breaking your spirit oh geez I'm just not very good at timing these videos